aggregate demand is the total demand for final outputs in an economy at a given price level at a specific time. Graphically, the aggregate demand curve is plotted with real output or real GDP on the horizontal axis and the price level on the vertical axis. Aggregate demand is calculated in a similar way as GDP as the sum of investment, consumption, government spending, and net exports. The important element to consider about the downward slope of the aggregate demand curve is that it reflects changes in the total demand for goods in relationship to changes in the price level in an entire economy. The aggregate demand equation groups so many different types of spending that it's difficult to combine all of these elements to predict the exact cause and effect of economic growth or decline. Graphically, the aggregate demand curve depicts an inverse or negative relationship between the overall price level and GDP for three main reasons the wealth effect, the interest rate effect, and the exchange rate effect. The wealth effect, or the real money balances effect, argues that consumers purchase more goods when the price level decreases because consumers have an increase in real wealth. When prices increase, the real value of the money an average consumer holds falls, so spending decreases, while a decrease in prices makes products become relatively cheaper and people are able to buy more. The interest rate effect shows that a lower price level reduces the interest rate, which stimulates spending on investment. A low price level means people need less money to make purchases, which decreases the demand for money and increases savings because people may have money left over after making purchases. This increases the amount of money in the bank, which banks then use to make loans. An increase in the amount of loanable funds decreases the interest rate on loans. When the interest rate is low, more businesses and individuals take out loans to make investments, which increases aggregate demand. The third reason is the exchange rate effect, or the international effect. As price levels fall, domestic consumers need less money to make purchases, so savings in the domestic economy increases. In very simple terms, a lower price level causes domestic economy exports to become cheaper, which stimulates foreign spending. Economies abroad are more likely to purchase goods and services from the domestic economy when they are cheaper. Additionally, domestic consumers are likely to purchase fewer imports. This causes net exports to rise, which increases aggregate demand. Shifts in the aggregate demand curve can be caused by changes in any of the components of aggregate demand, but not by changes in the price level. The four factors that cause the aggregate demand curve to shift are changes in consumption, investment, government expenditure, or net exports. When consumption expenditure increases, the aggregate demand curve will shift to the right. When consumption expenditure decreases, the aggregate demand curve will shift to the left. The second factor that creates a shift in the aggregate demand curve is investment expenditure. When investment expenditure increases, the aggregate demand curve will shift to the right. When investment expenditure decreases, the aggregate demand curve will shift to the left. The third factor that can shift the aggregate demand curve is changes in government expenditure. When government expenditure increases, the aggregate demand curve will shift to the right. When government expenditure decreases, the aggregate demand curve will shift to the left. The last factor that can cause a shift in the aggregate demand curve is net exports. An increase in exports or a decrease in imports will shift the aggregate demand curve to the right. A decrease in exports or an increase in imports will shift the aggregate demand curve to the left.